Welcome to this puzzle session. Here is the problem. Nine numbers are placed in a circle, four of which are ones and five of which are zero. Here is an example. Okay. And then the following operation is performed. Between each adjacent pair of numbers, we place a zero if the numbers are different and a 1 if the numbers are the same. So for example, this was let's say our starting configuration. Then we, you know, we apply this operation. So these two numbers are adjacent and different. So we will place a 0 here between them. These two numbers are adjacent and same. So we will place a 1 and so on. This, these two are different, so we will place a 0 and so on. And then the old numbers are erased. So now we erase all the orange numbers, meaning the old numbers, so we get another configuration. So starting with the configuration, this operation produces a new configuration. All right, so what we are asking is, after several applications of this operation, starting with, let's say, some given configuration, after several applications of this operation, can all the numbers become equal? Can it possibly happen? That is the question. So as usual, you're encouraged to pause the video and try to find a proof or solution yourself before you look at what I'm going to discuss. And now let us continue. So we are going to show that it is not possible, meaning no matter what configuration you start with, where you, are, you, where you have four zeros and five ones, I think. Yeah, four, sorry, four ones and five zeros. Doesn't really matter, but anyway. Four zeros and five ones. Uh, then after any number of applications of this operation, you will never get all numbers equal. So that is what we are going to show, and we are going to do that by contradiction. So assume that it is possible, meaning there exists a configuration of four zeros and five ones. Again, maybe I'm messing it up. Uh, sorry, four ones and five zeros. So suppose there is a configuration of four ones and five zeros, which has this property that after some number of applications of this operation, you do end up with um, all the numbers being equal. All right, and we want to produce a contradiction. Okay, so there is some configuration here, which has this property. And after some successive number of applications of this operation, one ends up with a configuration where all numbers are equal. Okay. And let me also draw the penultimate configuration. All right. So after one step, after two step, and after nth step, let's say this is the nth step. you arrive at a configuration where all numbers are equal and we may assume that n is the smallest such number. So what are we saying? Since at some point you are going to get all numbers equal, this configuration was assumed to be of that sort that after some number of applications of this operation you will reach an equanimous configuration. You will do so the first time at some point, right? This will happen for the first time at some point and that point is what we are calling n. This is the first time when all numbers are equal. So in all these preceding configurations, you find, you, you do not find equanimity, meaning you find both zeros and ones present. All right, so I hope that much is clear. And now there are two cases. Case one, that what you get here is all numbers are one, right? So let me just see uh, what is the rule again. The rule is zero if the numbers are different and one if the numbers are the same. So case one is all numbers are in the nth step are equal to one, right? Since this has equanimity, meaning all the numbers here are equal, either all the numbers are zero or all the numbers are one. So in this case, Let's say all the numbers are one. So the question is, what could be the penultimate configuration? 
Now, in the penultimate configuration, both zeros and ones are present because we have assumed that n was the smallest number with the equanimity property. So let's say there is a zero here somewhere. Now, if this were a one, if, if the number adjacent to zero were a one, we would see a zero here because if you have two adjacent numbers which are different, you place a zero in between them. But our assumption is that there's only ones present here. So if this is zero, its adjacent number is also zero. And its adjacent by the same reasoning is also zero. And so on, and so on. So basically you will end up with nine zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So if this is the all ones configuration, then this has to be the all zeros configuration. But this is a contradiction to the minimality of n. Because now at the n minus one -th step, we have reached equanimity which is a contradiction to the minimality of n, and hence case 1 is not possible. So this case is ruled out. Okay, and case 2 is that all numbers are equal to 0. So let's erase everything. Okay, so here all numbers are 0, and let's maybe just make it for our visual convenience, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, I hope these are 9, uh, 4 and 5, 9, yes. All right, so what could be the penultimate configuration is the question. Again, the penultimate configuration houses both zeros and ones, so let's say there's a zero somewhere, there's a zero here. Now what could be the number adjacent to it? If the number adjacent to it is also 0, then we would see a 1 here, but we do not see a 1 here, so the number adjacent to 0 on this side has to be 1. So this is a 1. And again, by the same reasoning, the number adjacent to 1 has to be 0, because if this were a 1, we would see a 1 here somewhere. So this has to be 0, and then again this has to be 1, then 0, then 1, then 0. How many have we written? 2 plus 2 plus, sorry, we have written 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1. So 7 we have written. So this is a 1 and this is a 0, but we have written 9 numbers now. So these are all the numbers that are there in the penultimate configuration, meaning this is the penultimate configuration. Right? But you see, <clears throat> you, you see that there are two adjacent zeros here. And that is a contradiction because if there are two adjacent, adjacent zeros, then we should see a one here somewhere. And hence, case two is also not possible. So in any case, we get a contradiction. And hence, it is impossible to start with a configuration and end up with an equanimous configuration. That's it. So I hope this was an interesting puzzle. And as usual, like, uh, like comment, share, subscribe. And I will see you next time.